Hello my fellow weirdos, welcome to another Puzzle With Me video. Um, I'm Flower the Weirdo, thanks for coming to check out my channel. Um, yeah, if you don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing um, the puzzle that was chosen when I spun the puzzle wheel. I will show the puzzle wheel really quickly and then we will get back to the video. The puzzle wheel is so funny because I get scared patootie Okay, so I will be right back after this quick video. Hello, my fellow weirdos. Um, I've been having trouble trying to decide what puzzle to do next. But um, we got Jigsy here. And we're going to use a wheel to decide what puzzle I'm going to do next. I actually, after I decided that I was going to do this, I saw online that a lot of puzzlers were using um, spin the bottle to pick their next puzzle, but I decided since I have so many, I have 54 puzzles. I'm so excited about it because I had two puzzles at the beginning of September. I got gifted a bunch. I found our family puzzles and I bought a whole lot. I made a database of my puzzles because I'm like that. Um, it's mainly just to keep track of uh, like what I put online and what puzzles I've done. Um, I would put it up on here, but I don't have Excel on this computer and I really don't feel like downloading it right now because then I have to like log in. Hold on, let me double check here and just make sure it's not already on here and if I'm logged in. Do, 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 do. Because then I can put it up there and you can see like what puzzle is what it is on here. Excellent. All right. Now, where do I put my head? Where do I put my head? I guess I can put it up here. Yeah, that'll work, right? That way you guys will know I'm not lying about what puzzle I'm picking. So this is so like, I tend to overdo things. I uh, make things harder than they really are. So I did go through and do all this stuff just to pick my next puzzle. Um, but I have some really good ones. And also, if it's something that I really, really don't want to do, I will respin. Um, but I did take out the 3D puzzles. I kind of feel like I should take out the two, the clue and the um, mysteries of the Orient. I'm glad. You guys, I can't see my hand because I was counting like this. So I was kind of, I was flipping off Jigsy. <laughs> yeah, I turned off my autofocus so it's not going to be all jumbly, jumble, jumpy, whatever on my computer too. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, I'm so excited. I just want to pick the puzzle. <sighs> I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid it's going to be something horrible. It's going to be something I don't want to do. That's okay because I can just redo it. Um, but yeah, what I kind of really want to do is this one, UFO Victorian ladies, but uh, pretty much any of them will work. I should probably get into it instead of just sitting here yapping. So it's supposed to be a super short video. Um, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's see. It's going to be loud. I don't know how loud it is in the recording, but when I did it, I had my speakers turned up really loud and it scared the crap out of me. I might, I'll put the I'll put it in here at the end. At the end of the video, I'll put in me jumping because it's so loud. I might even have swore. If I did, I'll have to bleep it. Anyways, let's go ahead. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh my God, it takes forever. Number nine. Tropical Wonders from Hallmark, which is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. Let me go get that. I'll be right back. I can show you what it looks like because it's really, really pretty. Tropical wonders. Hmm, 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 hmm. Where are you at? Please don't knock over everything. Oh, this is so fun. I don't know if you could see me or hear me at all, but I was waving to you guys from the other side of that table because that's where my, pu my puzzles are stacked. Surprise, you can't see them above the top of the table. Anyway, the winner is, let me go ahead, hold on, I will expand this out so you can see the winning puzzle is Tropical Wonders. 
It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I was really thinking about doing this one and I was hoping it would be in one in the first haul because my first haul video I want to do like after I finish it, I want to do a review of all the puzzles and I want to list all the times that it took me to do them and I want to rank them um, on how I liked doing the puzzle. So I'm glad it was from puzzle one. Um, I kind of want to try it again. Let's try it again and see what we'll maybe do next. Oh, I just like spinning this wheel. Okay, done. Oops, I clicked the wrong video. That's cool, I'm still recording. Okay, done. Okay, what would be the next one? It's so loud. Okay. 31, it's so loud. Jmar Redbox. Yeah, see, I wouldn't want to do that. That's the one that um, this little toilet piece came from. Um, this, that's the puzzle from the 50s, so I probably would have respawned. Um, now I just want to do it one more time. Because <laughs> it's fun spinning the wheel. It's fun. Even though it's so loud. I think I'm going to do this every time I choose a puzzle from now on. 34. Songbird Collage. So they really want me to do like um, a bird, a bird one. Fate wants me to do a bird one. I am gonna have to let me star this. Um, picker wheel, done. Uh, got it. I think I know where my bookmarks are. Thank you. Um, in case you didn't see that, it told me to. Uh, um, <laughs> told me where I can find my bookmarks. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video of me spinning a wheel and you can see my face right there. Oh, you can't see my face because my face is in the way. That's my face. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put that back there. I will do it again because it, it was really fun. I, I'm excited about it. I really like it. It takes the um, decision away, if you know what I mean. It makes it so I don't have to decide. And if it's one that I don't want to do, I can always spin again. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. This channel has been, um, this a whole experience of starting a channel has been amazing. All the people I've met so far or like talked to in the puzzling community have been super nice and super amazing, especially the Puzzled Mandy and everyone in her Discord channel. I've really felt accepted for something that I never thought that would be be something I'd be doing and I'm loving it loving it so much my uh, second midlife crisis is awesome um, my first one was when I started the Sims 4 channel make him wave bye bye <laughs> I'll get him so like like he just sits on the top of my head there ah. okay anyway I will let you go thank you for watching all right this is just a test Oh, I was recording that. Okay. Oh my gosh, wasn't that hilarious? It's just, it scared me so bad. <laughs> I, I scare easily though, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, so yeah, as you see, we are reviewing the Hallmark Tropical Wonders. Um, there we go. Tropical Wonders. 1,000 piece puzzle. It is... By Hallmark, does it say how big? Yeah, 24 by 30. Now, I do want to show you these pieces, and I didn't take one out of the bag, so you're gonna have to hear the noises. These pieces, they were um, they're random pieces, so it's not like ribbon cut or anything. They have a whole bunch of fun shapes. I mean, they're pretty much they're close to being normal shapes, but um, here's one of the pieces. It's very um, matte, which I love. Um, you'll hear more about it in there. And I do talk about the pieces in the uh, puzzle blog. They're pretty thick. Um, now, I don't know if it's because of the age of this puzzle and how many times it's been built or just the general quality of it, but the pieces are coming apart. I will also show you that in the video in the puzzle vlogs but yeah this i have to tell you guys this picture to me when i first saw it i was just like eh, it's, it's pretty cool 
when I built the puzzle. It is such a beautiful, beautiful puzzle. I really loved this one. This was a really fun, easy, pretty easy puzzle to do. Um, as you'll see how how I I go about it. It's it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I will let you listen to all the vlogs and I will check back with you in a little bit. Hello my fellow widows, welcome to another puzzling video. Um, my new camera is coming tomorrow, so this will probably look a little bit different in the second video I do. Um, so a little while back I did a spin the wheel to see what puzzle I do next video, but I didn't get to do it because of my Halloween videos. So, I'm doing it now. Um, I will put the video at the beginning of this because it's only a couple minutes long, I think. But yeah. So, uh, the next puzzle I'm doing is... Tropical Wonders! And I've been, like, kind of putting it off. I mean, despite having to do all my Halloween puzzles. I've been kind of putting it off because I've been worried about, like, how I'm going to do it. And I decided I'm just going to do a full flip. It's a thousand pieces. It might get kind of messy and chaotic, but that's how I've always built puzzles. I only started sorting when, um, uh, just recently, I guess, while my rainbow ears matched the rainbow on the wall behind me. Can you tell I like rainbows? I got my Sims shirt on today. It's a freezer bunny shirt. Um, yeah, I'm still super excited about my Sims 4 news. My EA Creator Network status. So yeah, I'm super excited. I am actually really excited to start this puzzle now because I decided to do full flip. And we'll just see how it goes. I hope I'm not blocking this. See, that's why I got another camera. Um, Because I like when I hold the phone, I feel like I'm blocking the microphone. I do have an external microphone, but I haven't used it yet because so far the camera's been all right. Anyway, let me get started on this puzzle, and we'll see how I do with a thousand piece full flip. Who knows if they'll all fit on there. I might have to use the trays if they get, if it gets too messy. But, um, yeah. Anyway, well, let me get to it, and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so I got everything flipped. Um, it's a bit like the quarter game, you know, the, the quarter gambling thing where you drop a quarter and have to push it. Because I didn't realize when I decided to full flip this puzzle that the pieces were giant sized. So it's a 1000 piece puzzle with very huge pieces. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. It is a big mess right now. Okay, so this is the puzzle. Fully flipped. Um, like I said, it's like the quarter game where I just had to keep pushing it to the side to make room. So there's kind of a little bit of layers. But I think as I go on, it should get a little better. Now over in the corner here, I did pull out the uh, edge pieces so I can make the frame. Um, you can see under um, Puzzle here, he's got some pieces under there and um, under my ghosty thing. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get these done. But let me tell you something. Um, these pieces are amazing. Like the shine, there's no shine to them. They're very, very matte. They're big, easy to pick up. And they're very soft, almost velvety. It's a very interesting feeling especially for someone with um like sensory issues like me this feels very nice and i found an edge piece while i was doing that so let's just toss that to the side um but yeah they're just it's such a refreshing change from the last puzzle the last puzzle i did 
was a very, very shiny, I think it was called like um, Goblins and Ghouls and Goodies, Oh My, something like that. But it was so shiny it made my eyes hurt. And this, this is just beautiful. The pieces, the colors are just amazing. I can't wait to see it done. So let me get to it. It took me 19 minutes to flip everything over. Is this one flipped? Yeah, it's hard to tell with some of them because this one is like dragonfly wings. So it's not that much different from the back color, you know? So, yeah. Look at all the little tiny butterflies in here too. You know I love a good butterfly. Oh, and there's frogs. I see frog toes. And maybe a frog tongue? Oh gosh, I'm so excited I decided to do this puzzle. Okay, well, let me get back to it and I will check back in maybe after I finish the border. And then I can spread the pieces out a little more because I'll have that room over there. I might move my water bottle too because I already moved the box lid up to the side up there. Just because um, I need the room. <laughs> I keep wanting to flip that piece but I'm not going to. Anyway, let me get back to it and I will check back in later okay so here's what it looks like so far um i Finished the border mostly. There's like one piece missing there. And I think maybe up at the top somewhere. Yeah, right there. But yeah, so now I just have to maybe start picking out things that I recognize maybe from the edge and build outward. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but we'll figure it out. But I just wanted to do my quick little check-in. And... You guys see where I'm at and it's only been an hour and six minutes and this is my progress <laughs> not very much all right I will get back to it and check back in about an hour So it's super late, but I was having a lot of fun with this one. So I just kept pushing on. But let me show you how much I got done. I actually think I did pretty good for it being a big chaotic mess. <laughs> Alright, here, check it out. So we have a little bird there. And we have the parrot and some butterflies and some flowers. Daffodils. I think those are daffodils. I can't really tell. And then there's a big giant flower with a butterfly and a bird there and another butterfly. So yeah, I think I did pretty good for the time I had and for the mess. I mean, look at this. It's just piled up. I've just been going through. See, here's this side. I've just been going through and just picking out pieces and kind of throwing them in piles. So like right here you can see I have a pile of like green leaves and pink flowers and then trying to go slow over here it's a pile of frog parts I really want to continue further on but um, I'm tired my eyes are crossing because I'm so tired so I will continue tomorrow perhaps with my new camera who knows all right I will say good night for now and I will see you 
tomorrow when I start again. Wow, look at this. It's daytime and I'm up here puzzling. It's very rare that this happens, but um, I'm going to be puzzling while I rest from cleaning my room because my room is a mess. Um, Anyway, I'm going to be puzzling today for a little bit and then clean it and then puzzle and then clean. So who knows how long I'll be puzzling, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> we'll get to the puzzling now. Okay, so I took a quick break for lunch. Um, I got my Tootsie Rolls here. The Christmas Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Roll. Um, normally I don't snack when I puzzle because I snack after midnight. I don't eat after midnight. Um, but yeah, so I think I got a lot done. Let me show you what I've got done. So okay, so I finished off this flowery thing. I made that flower, got those connected, everything is connected on this side, so that's pretty cool, and I think I finished that up, I don't remember if I finished that before or not, yeah, so that's what it looks so far, that's what it looks like. So yeah, next I'm going to work on this little pile here, which is these little tiny purpley flowers, and... Then I kind of want to work on, there's like a piece of, or a, a branch that goes through that really gray color there. Uh, I think I want to work on that next, maybe. I don't know, but I'm definitely doing the little purple flowers first. And then also probably still trying to work on this, because this one was super hard because it's all red and it, um, yeah. It just, I almost started <laughs> thinking about piece sorting here. But, like I said, there's no room to piece sort on my board. I also have all these red flowers sorted out. They go up in this corner up here. So I might do that too. I don't know. I'll just pick it. Just pick at it like I have been. Um, I really think I could have sorted. And when I sorted, I could have done all the reds, all the pinks, all the whites, all the greens. I think I probably could have sorted that way. But I wanted to do a full flip. So this is what a full flip looks like on a teeny tiny table. It's not teeny tiny. I think it's 48 by 32. I can never remember that. It definitely is 48 long. But it's 32 or 38. I don't think it's 38. But it's extended because the table ends like right about here. So this is all like bouncy so I made it because the table is not as long not as deep as it is long I guess I don't know whatever I'll stop talking and get to puzzling and one more thing I forgot to take off my ears when I went downstairs and I'm kind of puzzling in secret right now Shh, don't tell anyone I'm supposed to be cleaning but I have to get this table cleared off first and in order to do that I have to get the puzzle gone Okay, I'll get back to puzzling. Take my ears off and then get back to puzzling. I am back. It is after midnight. Um, I think I got a lot done on the puzzle. I 
had a little bit of difficulty because I have a window that is um rises and anyway it's in the path of the sunset I was gonna tell you it's west west in the west west facing window <laughs> I don't know where the sun goes but anyways I have that and um as the sun was setting it was shining like in my eyes while I was trying to puzzle so I'm like leaning way 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 over to the side like that and then I had to lean way over to the side like that and just kept leaning back and forth trying to get away from the sun but uh, my camera did come in um I'm still gonna record them like this for this puzzle in the next puzzle it's gonna be the full thing because I just am really excited to use that and I think I I'll feel a bit more natural you know talking like that rather than holding my phone because I'm always afraid I'm not recording and I'm always afraid that I'm just gonna be too shaky and too like whatever Anyway, um, let me show you my new camera. It is, you know, it's a Razer Keo. The same as my old camera. My other two cameras. <sighs> so, I don't think I paid full price for any one of these. This one was actually on sale. I was waiting for it to go on sale. It was, um, I want to say it was $50 off. So, it was only $40, bucks, which is awesome. It was either... <laughs> $50 off for 40 bucks or $40 off for 50 bucks. I can't remember. I think it was 40 40 dollars off. No, $50 off to be 40 bucks. Yeah, it has to have been I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I got an awesome deal on it. Um So yeah, I just didn't feel like setting that up because here, let me switch this over so you can see my background. And then I'll show you the puzzle. See right where the dog is? That's like a shelf. So um, I'm going to put the camera right there. But I need to cut into that fabric. So that the camera will come through. And I really don't want to deal with that right now. So I'm just going to wait for this puzzle to be done. Let's see how much I got done here. I'm trying to get rid of my camera here. Uh, so I did really good. I got all of it connected. Um... It, don't you just love when you're building a puzzle and you have like something way over here and something way over here and then you realize oh crap those are like right next to each other then you have to like slide everything over I had to do that with these and then I had to do that down here with um these because I didn't realize that they all connected um I got all the little purple flowers so this is what I was trying to do in the sunset when I had to uh keep leaning over sideways these flowers are so pretty um where else did I get done oh I threw my camera on the floor now this is one of the used puzzles I got from my aunt and I can't seem to find this puzzle and this piece unless I dropped it on the floor um I think it might be missing because if you look here there's like no solid red anything well there's that but that's just pieces so there's nothing over there and then I looked over here I lifted up lifted up those to make sure that there's nothing under there and so I could have also fallen after the puzzle is done I will crawl under the table and find out but when I was going to plug in my timer or get the plug ready for my timer I knocked puzzle Lou down and he was sitting on this piece which this piece is the main piece I've been looking for for this bird. So I'm going to wait till I turn the video back on to place this piece. But I just want to say this puzzle is really, really pretty. And I love the feel of it and the shape of it and the look of it. So I think this one's going to be a keeper. Even if this piece is missing. Because if it is, then I will um, re-watch Karen Puzzle's piece making video and make the piece for it because this one will be simple because honestly I could just color the entire thing red I mean I could put the little because you can see there's a little bit of a green thing in there let's see oh it actually goes a bit deeper so I wonder no it's not too bad there'd still be it would still just be just a little bit of red in there and I don't want to take it from the box because as you can see the box and this color are different. 
Um, I don't know why that is, but it is slight difference in coloring. And um, there was a couple other things in here that I noticed from the box to here that were a different color. Not like a lot of things, but just enough that it's like, wait a minute, like that bird up there. He's so orange, and in here he's not as orange. And the flower, too. And the, see, it's like everything in the puzzle is darker. Now, this could be due to age, because like I said, this puzzle is old and has been built many times by many different people. I believe. And as you can see over here, the pieces, they are coming up a little bit. But if I do keep it, um, I might try to see if I can fix that with some kind of like acid-free glue or something. I don't know. I'll look into like fixing puzzle pieces too because I really do want to keep this puzzle. It's a very, very beautiful. And I'll shut up now. This is like almost seven minutes long. <laughs> I'll stop talking and get back to puzzling. back for my hourly check-in I guess I don't know I don't do it exactly hourly but I do it every once in a while but anyway um yeah so I the pieces I have left I already filmed this video once but I didn't hit record that's why I wanted that other camera now I have to re-say everything I think all I was saying was that I'm eight hours in and I think I can knock it out in the next hour. Um, I'm getting to the point where like I know it's going to end soon and I don't want it to because I'm really enjoying this puzzle. I was so like nervous about doing it. I was like I don't want to do this puzzle. It looks so hard and it's actually really easy because there's lots of different spots. Let me show you my progress so far. Oh and also I cleared all the pieces off of the puzzle and just put them all to the side. So they're kind of piled up, but I'm dealing with it because I don't have any room. And as I'm sitting here, I'm just seeing all these pieces where they go. But let me show you what I got so far. Okay. So, like I said, it's pretty much done. There's a little bit. There's a big, huge chunk here. But just all around this area, little tiny pieces here and there. I'm making myself sick doing this. This one I think is missing. And then this whole chunk up here. So all the pieces are shoved over here. And I really don't think this piece is here. Because I would have seen it. Unless it's on the floor. But like I said, after I'm done, I will crawl around on the floor and see if it's down there. Yeah, that's my progress so far. I'm doing pretty good for 8 hours. It's actually 7.56.43. Here, I'll show you. Oh, and I got my radio playing. Hopefully you can't hear it. If so, I'll have to turn my the music up so it muffles it. Anyway, I'll stop this video now. So I know it's only been, what, 10 minutes? Something like that. But I was looking for the pieces and I decided to lift up this ghost tray. And I found this piece and this piece which are the two pieces I was looking for one here and this one which I said you know I was talking about it being missing and everything so I'm glad these two pieces are here um, and I'm glad I don't have to crawl around the floor yet but um, I'm still not that much further along but I just wanted to say I found those pieces because I'm excited Yay, I found the pieces. Okay, back to puzzling. Here it is, the last piece. I'm going to do this, and you know I'm really bad at it. 
Plus, it's not really that easy to see because of the different colors. I drop it all the time. I'm just not good at that. There you go. I feel like you guys deserve a bigger snack. And destroy the puzzle just to get this one piece out. Oh great, now I broke the piece. There we go. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the last piece? That was a good snap. So there we go. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. I love doing the wheel to see what puzzle I'm going to do next. It's so fun. All right. I guess uh, that is it for me. I'm going to go watch Karen Puzzle's review of the World Jigsaw Finals 2023. And we'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned for my afterthoughts. Now wasn't that fun? It was such a fun puzzle to build. This is another one that I would love to glue. Um, but I really want to try doing it again because did I have... I think I used the timer on this one, right? Timer, yeah. So 8 hours and 44 minutes, which isn't too bad. Um, because I'm really not that great at puzzles right now. But I'm getting better, I think. I'm making progress. There were some parts of this that were super confusing, like that, um... Uh, here, let me show you. So this leaf right here, I was having a lot of trouble. Let me make sure it's not... Because the box isn't shiny, though. That's the thing. And it's... The pieces are so soft feeling. They feel very soft. But, um, this right here, I had a lot of trouble with this area here. This area here was awesome. Like, I thought this would give me trouble, but it was so easy. Because it's it's almost like a gradient through here. And there's also, like, little um, uh, lines to show, like, which way the grass is going. So it, it was very helpful to figure out all of that. Now, I did have trouble with these two and this. Like, because I, I got them all confused. But I decided to do a full flip on this one. And I really do regret that decision. Like, I want to try this one again and sort it. Because if you sort, like, all the reds out, all the, like, white, and, you know, you can sort these things out and it'll go a lot faster, I think. I think I could have gone a lot faster by doing a sort. So, I'm kind of sad that I didn't because it's... I don't know. I still enjoy doing this puzzle. But it's so funny because I was like, I'm going to do this 1,000 piece puzzle as a full flip. Thinking, I got enough room on my table. Um, these pieces are way bigger than normal pieces. So, <laughs> than, you know, than the normal piece size that I'm used to. So, I had like double layers on both sides of the puzzle. It was not good. It was a mess. It was a real mess. And then in the back here, this is the one that somebody gifted to somebody else. So I have um, Carol S's. Is it Carol S? Yeah. I have Carol S's puzzle. You know, Carol S really loved this puzzle. She loved it so much she gave it away. But you know, I mean, she, she must have loved it because I love it. It was a really cool puzzle. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next puzzle with me or puzzle haul video. And thank you for supporting my channel. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are not subscribed already because that would be awesome. And I would be so happy. And yeah. 
I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And remember to always stay weird because weird is real. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.